Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for joining our presentation today. Uh, we are here with Matthew from EEARS, who's kindly um, come along today to talk about the opportunities that are available within the EEARS Limited Company. So thank you very much. And I would pass it over to Matt. Thank you. Thanks, Abbott. Appreciate that. Um, hi, everyone. I hope you can you can all hear me OK and clearly. Um, if there's any issues, obviously, just just drop something in the chat or flag it up somehow to us. But hopefully um, over the course of this, you'll get enough uh, enough information about us, um, what we do as a company, how we operate, the opportunities that we can offer to you uh, now and, and moving forward. Um, but anything you've got afterwards, as I say, throw it as a question on here. Um, I'm sure Sabbath can, can get you our information. There'll be our information at the end of the presentation as well. Um, it's not that long and I'll try not to talk too much for you all because I can I can get carried away chatting. Um, but I'll kind of run through us as a company um, and, and kind of the process and the roles that we've got. So a little bit about me, first of all, uh, I'm part of the management team. I'm one of the directors here. Uh, the company's 16 years old. Um, I've been with it nine years, uh, nine years last week, actually. So, um, and I love it. And we're a really good company to work for. Um, we're small, we're independent. We're still owned um, by a handful of people as opposed to big corporate agencies. Um, and all we do is purely education and early years roles. That's all we do. We don't venture out into anything like picking and packing, admin work, anything like that. We're really specialist and really focused on working within early years sector and education sector and finding work for people that want to progress their career um, within uh, within there. Um, hopefully the slides will start to roll through. There we go. So here we are to say established in 2005. Um, so we're coming up to 16 years old next month. Um, we chose to and the owner chose to be very specialist in the market because by being a specialist recruiter, we can market you guys better to the roles that you're looking for. Um, because it's all we do, we're really, really good at what we do. Each person here, each consultant that we've got in all of the um, all of the company across the England, um, we are focused on getting the right work for the right people. Um, we don't mix and match into loads of different things. We literally spend our day speaking to schools, independent schools, um, private day nurseries, creches, groups, councils for opportunities there. That's pretty much what we do. Um, we pretty much run across the country, as you can see there. Midlands is where head office is based. We're in Birmingham. Um, from here, we cover pretty much all of the West Midlands. We go out as far as Shropshire, Staffordshire, Worcestershire. We do Coventry and Warwickshire, Birmingham, obviously, uh, Warsaw. We, um, we've we got quite a good a good spread, really. Um, that's all on education and on early years. So we do the full the full range from sort of birth up to, to sort of 11 year olds that we supply staff to work with. Um, we preferred suppliers actually to Birmingham City Council. Um, we're also an approved supplier for the Department of Education. So that kind of gives you a standing and an idea as to um, us as a company and, and how seriously we, we, we sort of do things. Um, there's a lot of a lot of red tape, a lot of things to tick off to get to the point of where we are with Birmingham City Council and, and certainly with the Department for Education. Um, we're also an approved supplier for Wolverhampton Council. We have been for Coventry Council in the past. Uh, Manchester, we've got an office up north. We're a preferred supplier into the Manchester Council Children's Centres and schools as well. So there's quite a lot of stuff that, that we do. Um, I'm guessing the majority of, of you guys are going to be looking for work around the Midlands. So with myself and the team that I manage that we're generally looking for it. But as you can see from that, we've also got a desk that covers or a region that covers uh, Bristol and the South West and South Wales, uh, Hampshire. We've got, um, I'd say, the North West guys, which cover all of Cheshire, Lancashire, Liverpool, Greater Manchester. Um, and we've got the East Midlands office as well, which covers um, Derby, Notts, Luton. Milton Keynes, Bedford, Oxford, uh, and all around that area. So we've got a good spread of the, of the country, um, and we deal with lots of different uh, nurseries, schools, academies, trusts, charities nationwide to help support them um, with what they need staffing for. Um, so the work that's available, we try and work as much with you guys as candidates for us as we do for the clients who we work for. Um, a client might come to us and say, we need somebody to do 
this role, we need a teaching assistant to work with a year three class five days a week for the rest of the academic year. We might equally well get a candidate that comes to us and says, this is what I've done. I've just left my previous job. I've been there 12 years. This is all my experience. And we'll actively market you out to settings as well because of your experience, your knowledge, your understanding. We have people who have 25 years experience working for us. We have people that have two years experience, one year's experience, placements, apprenticeships. We have the full spectrum of people that work for us and they all go out to work and they work what they want to do. If you're looking for work as a teaching assistant and only as a teaching assistant, that is what we'll search for for you. If you're looking for work as a family support worker, one-to-one uh, -one with children with additional needs, early year support, um, we do pupil guiding, sort of travel assists with the council, with Birmingham City Council, um, teachers, we've supplied staff as finance officers, administrators, nursery managers, we, we've done the full spectrum and we'll always try and work around what you want. Um, the roles in themselves are exactly that as well, they're very flexible. Some people join us because they're carrying on their studies. So some people have joined us from UCB before who were going on to do further studies to be um, a teacher to do their PGCE or to carry on doing a master's. And they've worked with us around that um, and then carried on working with us at the end when they're a qualified teacher. Other people have come to us and have worked with us for three weeks and they found their perfect job. Um, we've had somebody that worked with us and joined us, I think it was from UCB about three, four years ago. She went into her first shift for us. The nursery was that impressed with her. They actually employed her permanently a week later. So the, the, there's so many opportunities, so many opportunities for you to get the right role for you, to expand your experience um, and to find the right setting for you. You know, you may have worked in a, a junior and infant school or a primary school that is a single form entry. You may have been to a, a private day nursery that is an 80 place nursery. You might go somewhere with us that's a 100 place nursery, 150 place nursery. You might go to a three form entry school and you might love the fact that they're bigger and busier. You might not like it. You might prefer a smaller setting, a smaller classroom, a smaller environment. And that's what you get to experience with agency work. With the temporary or the fixed term stuff that you can see there on the presentation, it, it, it's often for a certain period of time so you know what's going on the temporary stuff the day-to-day -day, the ad hoc cover can be just a day sickness a day's training we all remember the support teachers we had in at school who came in for a couple of days or a week and everyone well didn't really listen to them or played them up a little bit because they were they were supply they were support teachers you know we don't really deal with that we deal with the lower end the primary school the nursery you don't really get the, the sort of the back chat if you like from people when you go in when you go into work you treat as a member of their staff and generally everyone loves where they go. They really, really enjoy it. And the feedback from all of the staff that work for us is that they really enjoy the settings. But if you go somewhere and you don't like it, you don't have to carry on going there. You can tell us. The advantage of this over getting a straight up permanent job when you leave uni is that if you go into a permanent job and you don't like it, then you're in a position where you've got to work a notice period, which is normally somewhere between two weeks and a month. Um, if it's in a school, then it's generally you've got a half term, so that's sort of six, eight weeks you've got to be there. Um, with us, you can literally say, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't want to travel there anymore. Something's changed since I started. My circumstances have changed. I can't work those hours. Whatever it might be, you've got flexibility. You've got flexibility on the days that you work, the contracts that you take, the type of roles that you want. And at the end of it, there's the opportunity for permanent roles as well, which obviously is what everyone wants or the vast majority of people want. It is there for you to um, to be flexible and you get paid for absolutely everything that you do. Um, sounds too good. It, it, it literally is the flexibility that you want. You, you're employed on a contract for services, so you can pick and choose what you want to do. And that's why you have that choice in the hours that you want to work. Um, we've got an app and a year's app um, purely for people that are registered with us and, and working with us. So you can get into that to do exactly what you can see there on the screen. You update us to tell us what you're free. So if you want three days a week, you tell us that you've got three days a week that you're free. If something changes, you can take your availability off. If you get more availability, you can add it back on. You've got the total flexibility on that. If you're only free for mornings because you've got an afternoon job, maybe you work at um, 
you know, work at a restaurant or something on the evenings, not that we can at the moment. You can choose just to work for mornings. Um, you, you can literally have complete flexibility over what it is. Um, Rosie's question there, if you commute to university, I always get roles in different areas. Yeah, as I say, we cover a lot of um, a lot of the country. Um, so it depends on where you live, but we'll, we'll always look for um, look for roles where you are. Um, I don't know where you're from, Rosie, but you know we can we can certainly look. And if we've got a, de a sort of desk that is in the area, an office that's in the area, we can look to help there. Um, if you're commuting into Birmingham for uni and you want work around uni when you're actually working, so let's say you live in I don't know Wolverhampton and you travel into Birmingham, we could get you work in Wolverhampton on the days that you're not working. We could get you work in Birmingham on the afternoon or the morning, maybe around your around your lectures. We can literally be that flexible. Um, and changing things like that isn't a problem. It's not an issue if you're free one set of days for a month and then it changes the month after or the week after. You, you literally have that flexibility. And because you're paid weekly, you're paid every Friday, which is perfect for spending it all the weekend on Amazon or whatever it is nowadays that we can't go to the pub. Um, you get paid weekly for everything that you do. We don't take anything off you as an employer. Um, we don't um, charge you anything for joining us. If you work 30 hours a week, you will get paid 30 hours a week. The only potential thing that will be taken off you is things like tax, national insurance, pension, which obviously is controlled by the government. So that's the only thing um, that we um, that, that we have to kind of take off you if you hit the threshold. But there is a certain threshold that you've got to get to before that happens. So a lot of people will get paid weekly, especially if you're working part time. Um, it's perfect for, you know, what money's coming in, where, where it is. And it's absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, Rosie, you live in Lancashire. So obviously the guys up in the northwest, we've got Rachel and, and Vicky up there. Um, they would be able to to help you out. So if you live in Lancashire during the week and you're looking for work Monday to Friday in Lancashire, Rachel and Vicky will be able to have a little look and see what work we've got around for you there. And then obviously when you come into Birmingham on the weekends, um, vast majority of our settings aren't actually open the weekends. So we probably couldn't help you so much in the Birmingham area, but certainly um in lancashire you know during the week we um we should be able to help on a guest um towards the end there'll be a couple of couple of contact numbers on the system but if you go onto our website or our facebook we've got facebook instagram the website eers.co.uk you'll be able to get all your local office numbers that'll apply to anyone else as well who doesn't live doesn't live in birmingham or, or west midlands um you'll be able to get access to all the all the stuff on um on our website or social media anyway um, and we're always happy to have a chat with anyone it's kind of our job um so applying to us and when you can start our application process we have to go through a certain um procedure as part of the uh, accreditations that we've got and the contracts that i've mentioned before with the council and um with the government the department for education we have to go through certain processes we have to have an online registration form from everyone uh, which is done through our website it will take about 10 or 15 minutes um it just gives us all the information that we need it puts you onto our system uh, and we can get everything started from there the next step after that would be a video registration call um normally when times were not as they are now we'd meet everyone face to face we'd sit down with you either in our office or we'd come to a locality near you sit down with you have a coffee talk through the registration forms and get everything ticked off obviously we can't do that at the moment so it's doing it all via video link it is done generally teams facetime skype whatsapp call zoom meeting we're pretty flexible on that. They're all pretty good platforms. And it takes about half an hour. Um, we have to see certain documents on that call. You need to send those over to us afterwards. That satisfies us seeing what we need to as an employer for you. And then we need to get references and a DBS check. So references, ideally you can use your tutors. You've been at uni for two, three years, maybe longer. Your tutors are ideal. They can confirm the amount of time that you've been there, what you like as a pupil. And then we'll also generally get one from a setting, a placement or work that you've done within the education sector, within early years or within childcare to say what you actually like with the students, with the pupils, what your application is to that um, and what you like working around other people in a team. You will also obviously need a DBS. Everyone working within childcare has to have a DBS. There's no way around it. Um, again, with the vetting and the accreditations we've got, 
we are really limited on what we can accept as, as to DBS is. Uh, we have to either have a DBS that is processed through ourselves that is less than a year old, or a DBS that's on the online update service. So if you're not on the update service at the moment and you joined us, you would have to have a new DBS. Um, unfortunately, that would cost you £47.20. Uh, but that's to say that's the only cost that you'd have. There's no charge to actually join us. The only thing you may have to pay for is a DBS. But pretty much whatever job you go for within early years of education, you're going to need it if you're not on the update service. Um, the update service unfortunately you can't put existing dbs's onto you can only put ones on that are um less than 30 days old so we do suggest to everyone if you do join us you get a new dbs it's a good idea to um put it on the update service there and then because you have that for life uh, you have that one dbs then to keep you going through um, as long as needs be uh, future employers can use it we can check it every 13 weeks to make sure it's still valid and if you did get a permanent job there's no hold up on dbs's then dbs's can take anything from a few hours a few days to several months to come back if, if they just get caught in the system um, and there's no way of chasing them until they've been with the police for 60 days so literally you could be two and a half months into waiting for your dbs before any chase can even be put on it being on the update service speeds that up. So that's just a bit of advice for you guys, whether you join us or not. If you have a DBS in future, get it on the update service as soon as you have it through. Um, so yeah, our process, online registration form, video registration, um, sort of telephone call, video call, which will last about half an hour, 40 minutes. Um, we see documents, get a new DBS if you have to, get your references back, and then you're good, you're cleared. So as soon as you've done all those things, you are active on the system. We tick your file off, we check it all over, we're happy, you become active. As soon as you become active, you get access to our app. That's when you can start telling us when you're free for work. That is when we start speaking to the settings for you to try and find that perfect role. Um, as I say, whether it's something that you're looking for um, part-time, ad hoc, day-to-day, -day, or whether it is a permanent role that you're looking for, we've got you registered then, you're on the system. Um, question information, um, we've got Sarah and Zara's names on there. Um, Sarah and Zara are the two ladies that cover Birmingham um, that I manage. Um, I've kind of taken this on today. Um, Zara's an annual leave, Sarah's in the middle of a, a couple of other things. So I said, I'll, I'll, I'll come and have a chat with you guys and, and hopefully not bore you too much. Um, but the way we split Birmingham, we've got Sarah and Zara that cover sort of uh, half of the city each, if you like. I cover Warsaw, Wolverhampton, Staffordshire, Shropshire, um, sort of Dudley Way that way in early years. So, you know, if it's early years work you're looking for, you'll probably get one of us three if it's around the West Midlands. Um, Rosie, for you in particular, anyone else who's sort of in the Northwest, you'll get Rachel or Vicky. If there's anyone from the Southwest, Bristol Way, you'll get Charlotte. Uh, East Midlands, it will be Tiff or Andy. Uh, and then we've got our education side as well, which is uh, run by a guy called Scott and Hannah alongside him. So th there's a small team of us and, and we're all very personal. Um, we're pretty much all chatting, maybe not as much as me. Um, but we'll all have a chat with you and, and, and quite happily talk you through the process and what goes on and, and any questions that you may have. Um, if you're in Birmingham and you want to contact uh, Sarah or Zara directly, Zara deals with more South Birmingham, sort of anything below the city centre and going into Worcestershire. Sarah deals with North Birmingham, going out towards Coventry and Warwickshire. And then obviously there's myself, but you can get hold of, of all of us on that telephone number there. Um, that's for our head office. As I say, we're only in Edgebaston. We're open from seven in the morning till six at night. So you can get hold of any of us on that. Even if it's just a question and a query, um, would you be able to help me with this? Would you um, be able to advise on that? How would this work? Do you cover this area? Any little questions you've got, feel free to drop us an email. Feel free to drop us a call. Um, if you want to send me an email, you can just put my name and it's Matthew Homer or just take the... Uh, name out entirely and just send it to birmingham at eyears.co.uk that will come to me um if you're in the northwest just send it to manchester at they'll pick it up or bristol at we'll, we'll pick it up that way um easiest way give us a call so we can talk everything through really really quickly with you um go through the process and talk about sort of any current live roles we've got they're coming in all the while at the moment 
um, about an hour ago, I had a, a nursery school contact me looking for two people from January till July. So literally, this is the time now when we're starting to get the roles coming through for now. And we'll start getting roles coming through for next September, probably around February, March time next year. So, you know, depending on when you guys are all finishing, depending on what lectures you're doing, what your timetable's like, have a think, have a look through, have a chat to us. Um, have a look on, like I say, social media, our websites, Google reviews, all that sort of stuff. Um, or, or just drop us a call for a chat and, and I'm sure we'll be able to help. I'm sure we'll be able to help. Uh, or indeed, Sabbath will put you in the right direction, I'm sure. Sure. Thank you. Thank you very much, Matt, for that. Yeah. That was very informative. Any questions, guys, for Matt, please uh, drop them into the public chat for us. And I'm sure he'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, yeah, I just had a quick question, Matt. I know yeah. you mentioned um, that you're able to place, you know, students in the area that they're currently in. Do they yeah. also get to select the school that they wish to work in as well, or um, how, how, um, how how does that work? We will speak to settings that are local to them. So depending on where you live or the areas that you want to work in, if you have a particular school that you want to work in or a particular setting that you do want to work in, of course, we'll speak to them for you first. Generally, if you've done a placement there and we've got a reference from them, one of the questions is, would you have this person back? 99% um, of the time it says yes. That's the first place we'll start. You know, do you need any support? We've got them. They've joined us. You've just done the reference. Um, you know, do, do you want them back for anything? Um, you can always request where you want to work. The other advantage is you can request where you don't want to work. So I think I mentioned if you've done your placements, you definitely never want to go back there. If you know somebody works at a setting that's local to you and you don't want to work there, just tell us. Um, we had one lady a few years back that, that didn't want to work near where she lived. She wanted to work at least two or three miles from home. So she wasn't kind of bumping into any uh, any students or any parents or anything in her local area. So she wanted to kind of work away from where she is. And we catered for that. So we'll, we'll cater if somebody specifically says, I'd love to work here. I'd love to work there. I don't want to work there. I'm happy to travel here. We'll cater for that. We, we, we work with everyone on a real individual basis um because it's the best way we, we treat people as a person i'd like to think that i know quite a lot of things about everyone that works for me and and works for, for us across the company because i've been here nine years i'd like to know that i know if if a couple of candidates at the moment children are off school um you know other halves are, are, are real or um there's one who's um whose husband's had a, a bit of a an injury on his back and you know knowing why she's not working because of that so we treat you as people you're not just a number you're not just a payroll number to us you, you're a person you're a candidate you're somebody who we want to be able to get into the right role so we treat you as people and i think that comes from being part of a sort of a a smaller company rather than a big corporate company we have the ability to do that a little bit um Wait, okay. thank you. Uh, just looking at the questions that are popping up. Sorry, Sabbath. Uh, sure. How much experience do we need to have to come and work with us? Uh, generally, we ask for around six, six months, uh, but that can be across your placements. You know, if you've done placements um, as part of the degree or if you did a level two or three childcare or teaching assistant course or something beforehand, then that's fine. As long as we can get that reference to say what you're like in the childcare setting in the uh, school setting working in the classroom working with those teachers then that's 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 enough for us we can use that and we can put you forward based on that experience there um so i'm going to experience looking to work in the child psychology field after that so for us you would have to have experience working within uh child care or within education purely because the settings that we put you forward for ask that so if we're putting you forward to work with a year four class they will want to know that you've had classroom experience that you've worked in the school before um, and all that sort of stuff um if you've never worked within the classroom environment um that they're, they're not kind of um going to get you in there because they don't know how you're going to react likewise we wouldn't be able to reference you to say you've got that experience so for us you would need to have placements um, to say this is what you're like, this is what you're capable of doing, uh, how is your response with other team members, with other staff in the room, with the children, your knowledge of the curriculum, your application. That's the kind of stuff we need to know. Um, when we're putting you forward for the roles, we're only putting you into an opportunity. It's then down to you to actually present what you can do. Um, so, you know, that's what we need, that, that background experience and knowledge that we know that you're going in there capable 
capable of doing what you want. Um, 40 hours of placement um, when you're at college, as long as we can reference that, that is fine. As long as we're able to get um, a reference from that placement to say, this is what you're like, this is um, how you did on that placement, that will be, that should be fine for us because it covers us off to say we know that you're suitable to work with children. That is the critical thing for us within the field that we work in and that you guys are potentially looking to work in. We have to know that you're suitable and safe to work with those children. That's the other critical point behind, behind the referencing. Okay, I think that might be the end of the questions. Is there any more question, guys, um, for Matt Watts? He's online. Um, obviously, this session is being recorded, so I will share the link after, um, hopefully. So, yeah, I think I think that's the end of questions. But, um, I don't think there's anything else. But... Anyone wants to contact us, contact me, contact any of the guys in the office, the local offices to them. As I say, anything, eyears.co.uk or get on our social media, pop us a message off on there if you want. We'll, we'll get back to you. We'll get somebody to call you back, one or the other. No question is a stupid question. That's the only thing I've I'll end with if there's anything that anyone wants to ask throw it at us great stuff thank you thank you very much uh, thank you very much matt and thank you for your time um for today and i'm more than happy to send this across to students once um you know we've day as well on the recording um but yeah feel free to get in touch with matt guys so any questions is a really great opportunity we have worked with the years for a very long time especially yeah. with that school of education um and i know your organization is also in touch with quite a few lecturers here as well yeah, um, yeah, yeah. i'm yeah. hoping to um have a years back on board for our education conference for next year so really looking forward to that brilliant but, Yep, so for now, um, thank you very much, Matt, once again. And uh, yeah, so that's it for today. Um, yeah. But thank you for your time. No worries. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.